Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a quick um, uh, uh, update or a help on your homework set. Uh, some people I think are trying to eyeball values off of the, the phase diagrams and I wanted to just show you how what the, what the best way to do uh, the problem would be. So uh, what I'm showing you here is is the um, the water phase diagram and this is what will pop up if you look at your animated figure in your homework sets so it's tempting just to say okay i'm just gonna let's see eyeball this is of course a log scale which makes it really hard to eyeball i'm gonna just figure out okay maybe i'm at one atmosphere um what temperature would i would i um uh um, melt at. So here I'm in the solid, I go through and I'm like, oh, that looks to be about zero. Okay, a better way to do that is you see these blue uh, lines, those actually are movable. So if you grab the diamond, you can move to wherever you want. And as you move, it locates uh, where you are in temperature. And you can also move this slider here and it'll tell you where you are in pressure. So maybe you want to go, okay, there's I'm at one atmosphere and I want to find out what the intersection looks like between the pressure at one atmosphere and when I cross that boundary. So I take my temperature slider and I slide it to that location. And there I am, it comes in at 2.2 uh, degrees C. So obviously it's it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty close. So uh, anyway, make sure you're using that, uh, those sliders to do your, uh, to get your values off of your phase diagrams so and you're not eyeballing it. So I know some folks had had some troubles with that in the past. So uh, anyway, uh, let me know if you have any questions about that, but uh, uh, please implement that. Thanks.